The circuit of the brain has always been this thing on a pedestal. It is the largest, most complex circuit that we know of. Coming out of electrical engineering, that's kind of biased, right? Because I want to think of everything as a circuit. But it turns out that neuroscience truly is about electricity in the brain. It's about ones and zeros and waves. And so as an engineer, I've been trained to analyze that type of stuff. Someone who's just trained in biology is not really able to tackle some of the problems that could lead to therapies that an engineer could. I see a lot of parallels between the labs here and startup companies. It's a bunch of people who are incredibly driven to solve a really dynamic problem. Every day that's kind of how I approach my labs. I walk in and I think, what are we gonna solve today? And we attack it. We're working very hard towards a very important problem. And that's really what I love about being here. When we come up with a question, we can go straight from that question right to making the tools to address it. In my lab, I've been able to answer questions about movement disorders. How do we move? What goes wrong when we don't move? And the future of what I want to study has everything to do with that. But it also has to do with getting out of the lab and doing something that we don't often talk about in neuroscience, which is field work. And that's maybe going into extreme environments and understanding why normal people in extreme environments fail and bringing those principles down here to sea level and understanding why diseased people in normal environments fail. And there's so many questions that we have to answer about it. From the brain, you can jump into artificial intelligence, the philosophy of mind, human evolution. You're also addressing disease and something that's really important to aging populations, something that's gonna be important to all of us. That's why I'm here, is I wanna help people. That's something that has always interested me, that has brought me to neuroscience, and continues to inspire me every single day.